there was a massive disillusionment amongst those that thought things were going to change. Today we're going to talk about how you can stay healthy as an ultra runner and some of the mistakes ultra runners make inherently that could be working against you. We are going to say something very different, something radical. But first, we have to talk about what does keep us healthy as runners. And that's cadence or our frequency, how often we strike the ground, reducing our ground contact time, and our leg stiffness. Leg stiffness is a good thing. It allows us to land and get off the ground quickly, reducing our ground contact time and adding to our frequency. That's how cadence and leg stiffness work together. So let's look at it from a different angle. If we're spending more time on each foot, that allows time for things to go wrong, or what I call wobbles. If we're landing, if our ground contact is high, we're spending a lot of time on each foot, that allows more knee flexion, more ankle flexion, more quad use, less glute use, more tight hip flexors, less glute activity and power coming from your glutes. This is where everything starts to go wrong. And if we're an ultra runner where a lot of our time is spent running really, really slow on slow terrain, on trails, on mountains, doing a lot of climbing, that just adds to the potential of increasing your ground contact and allowing us to not use our muscles very well. We love mixing it all up. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Mixing it up. What can you do? What's missing in your repertoire throughout your training week that could help keep you healthy? You're complacent. So if we're an ultra runner, a marathoner, just doing a lot of slow running, we have to train our mind, our body, and our legs to turn over faster to help us reduce our ground contact time and increase our leg stiffness. So in my last video, I talked about doing 20 second sprints. So we just need to incorporate throughout our week a lot of faster running. And again, this can be very short. Sometimes with my athletes, I have them actually do this within a long run where every three, four, five minutes, they're doing a short 10 or 20 second sprint throughout the entire easy run. So we're continuing to reinforce the leg's ability to turn over faster. Again, increasing cadence and improving leg stiffness. All great strength training. So let's go to that long run where you're on the mountains, on the trails, and what do you do? You're really focused on the uphill, putting in a good effort on the uphill, and then you need to use the downhill for recovery. Downhill ability is great strength training and great leg stiffness training because of the eccentric landing. Most times, the eccentric landing is the most important strength we need, but what's missing in most runners' repertoire. So early season and any time, put some emphasis on running downhill well. Do your 10, 15, 20 second efforts running faster downhill with good form. This is wonderful strength. It's gonna improve your leg stiffness, improve your strength. It's kind of warm today. So obviously the big challenge with ultra running is being able to run well late in the race. That's, that's the crux, right? And going back to leg stiffness, leg stiffness helps tremendously with this. So again, if you can run well longer and longer and longer within your race and your training runs, this equates to having better leg stiffness. So a lot of good leg stiffness training is jump training. And again, I call this part of my strength running. This is all skills that we can do while we're out running. For my athletes, again, I'll have them do their warm up at the track and do strength skills and then do their track workout. Or, hey, they're out on their long trail run and they're stopping along the way and doing a variety of strength skills to keep reinforcing this type of strength. Again, this type of strength that's what's really missing with most runners is that leg stiffness, the ability to land, use proper rubber bands within your muscles to spring forward. 
that's a healthy runner, that's a healthy ultra runner, and doing lots of jump training, any type of jump training, get creative with it. Anytime you're landing and jumping quickly is improving your leg stiffness, improving your elastic energy, improving your health. And then let's get back to climbing. Again, climbing, running trails, running mountains, racing in the mountains is inherent. There's a lot of vertical gain. And so what tends to happen is everybody kind of morphs into running nice and slow for a long climb. We can take all the what we're talking about and infuse a little bit faster running when you're running hills. Early season, hey, there's short, fast sprints training more force production, which will improve your speed and strength. And then as you progress in the season, doing one, two minute types of hill repeats is going to be really crucial to keep within your repertoire throughout the week. So you're not just falling into always running uphill kind of at a moderate effort when a lot of mediocrity can creep in. What I mean by that is if we're running just moderate uphill all the time, again, we're increasing our ground contact time, increasing our ankle flexion, increasing our knee flexion. All that puts stress on the quads and takes usage away from the glute. And then what happens is when we get tug and pull, we get tightness, we get dominant muscles in some areas and dormancy in other areas that just lead to wobbles and just doesn't help with performance improvement. So when you're in training, running hills, have the philosophy of incorporating variety in how you're running uphill. We love mixing it all up. And make this decision before you go out on your long run. Say today, hey, my focus today is to run the uphills very short and very fast, under a minute. Other days, hey, maybe they're, you're doing two or three minute, a little bit faster hills within your long run. And then other days you're doing your threshold type of runs. So I think the key here is what's missing in a lot of training is adding that variety in different ways of running your hills. It's not always that long, easy, moderate slog uphill. We love mixing it all up. And then another way to improve cadence and frequency in ground contact time and strength is infusing a use of a minimal shoe every now and then. Whether it's your recovery runs or your easy flat runs through the week. Again, if you're using a big cushion shoe for your ultra training and your ultra racing, and using that same shoe for all your other running, you're missing out on the opportunity to build strength within your feet and with that ground contact time and leg stiffness. The closer we get to the ground with our shoe, the better it is for strength, stability, and improving our leg stiffness. And then just the opposite, the further our feet get away from the ground and more in cushion, the more instability we incur. We aren't allowed to use our big toe for stabilization and our arch for stabilization. That makes the knee unstable. It doesn't allow us to use our calves very well. And muscles can just go dormant when we're not using them very well. So infuse a minimal shoe in a strategic way during your week. So these are the trails right in my backyard that I'm usually running. But we just had a storm last week, our first major one of the year. And then it got warm yesterday, and now it's all cruddy, gross, and I'm gonna have to stick to the road today um, on my run. Let's hope for more snow to get some hard pack going on again, because winter running in Jackson Hole is just amazing. And speaking about running on the road, if you're one of those runners who has access to trail all the time and you're running trails and hilly terrain all of the time, you're missing out on more leg stiffness opportunity by doing some road running or some flatter running where you're getting that constant turnover that will add to the frequency, reducing your ground contact time, and again, helping your leg stiffness. So don't avoid 
flat running, even if you're an ultra mountain runner. All right. It's what I got for you today. Don't get complacent in your training. You're complacent. If nothing else, take this video with the mindset of adding variety to what you're doing. Variety is the spice of life. Variety is the spice of life for performance, for health, for longevity in ultra running. All right, over and out from the neighborhood and Jackson Hole. Born to run world. See ya.